another day, yet another simple series game for the PlayStation 2 review. This time, it's not an Onichanbara game, nope, it's actually something good. Who would have thought a simple air hockey game for the PlayStation could be so chaotic, simple, and fun at the same time. There was no expect expectations going in, and in turn, I was left surprised at how good of a quality game this ended up being. Air Hockey is a PlayStation 1 simple series game developed by Success Corp and published by four separate companies. You got Success Corp, Zenimax, Midas Interactive, and Hamster Corporation. Hamster Corporation? Hmm, is Hamtaro the CEO? The general theory of relativity. Anyways, the game is a budget title, so it's simple. Simple series. You can play single player versus CPU or two player versus mode if you have another controller plugged in. There's four characters to choose from. Given that this is a Japanese game, the art direction is a mix of realistic and anime. You got Thunder Boy, Space Queen, Little Mania, and Diesel Man? Really? Diesel Man? Each with their own abilities and dialogue. In single player, your goal is to beat the three of the others, of the four characters, and then there's a boss who's invading the earth and air hockey is the only way to stop him. I mean, come on, it's Japan, of course, it's gonna have an anime BS plot. The controls can take some getting used to. You can use the left analog stick or the D-pad to move your paddle. I recommend the D-pad, it's more precise. Sometimes the D-pad is just better for these older games. After all, the PlayStation launched with no analog sticks, and developers had to re-release their games to support the DualShock controller once it released. Use the circle button to hit the puck. X is for special moves. Each character has their own set of three, including the boss. These can backfire though as the puck can fly all over the place and easily score a point for the other players slash CPU. Use these only when needed to give you an edge. There isn't much else to talk about as that's the entire game. Just one mode that's either player versus CPU or player versus player. There's no unlockables, no other modes, no nothing. It's simple fun that gets chaotic as hell with the various abilities and power-ups that appear on the table. These can range from reverse controls, freeze the player slash CPU, rock wall to protect the goal, tornadoes to flip the puck randomly, Increase the size of your paddle, spawn three pucks at once, and more. This of course can easily cause you to lose if you're not careful. In fact, after trying a few times to beat the boss, I gave up. I played everything the game has to offer. At the end of the day, I do recommend Air Hockey for the PlayStation 1. It's one of the better simple series entries to release outside of Japan. The chaos, anime characters, abilities, and power-ups keep you on your feet, leading to a challenging good time. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you all later.